Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Watcher of Realms video. We're going to go through the loot. We finished our GR4-6 and we're going to see what we get. Um, I'm going to go through, I'm first going to clear out this. Let's see what we got going on. Did I get any for the extra? No. No ancients in the extra. You do get the additional rewards. I heard someone say that you don't get additional rewards in GR4. I don't know who said that or why, but... They are clearly here and they are clearly working. So um, I didn't do background. I've heard some reports that background farm does not work, so I do not use it. I've heard that the additional rewards do not work on the background farm, and I've heard some other problems with background farm, so I have not been using it. I have been using the regular runs. I just walk away from my computer and come back later. Uh, so let me, uh, I first wanted to just show you this screen, first of all, to show you what I got. Let's see what this is. Ooh, attack speed rip. It's at least a triple or a quad stat. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through our loot. We're going to see how it works. And then we're going to, you know, craft some sets, see if we get anything good and just kind of review the loot and what we've done. I unfortunately could not finish because I ran out of gear slots. As always, we don't have enough gear slots in the game. So I was trying to keep up on deleting them, but I had to clean the kitchen and it stopped and there's no way to restart. So I lose this screen no matter what. So I wanted to record and show you the screen. Um, I'm going to clean up and we'll be back in a minute here. Okay, there we go. I have cleaned it up. Let's uh, see. We kept a couple of these. And, you know, most of these will just get leveled up to eight or this one's really bad, but I don't have a lot of rage regen with mana spring, so I'll probably just keep it. Um, you know, stuff like this will probably get leveled up to like eight, and then if it's bad, it'll get deleted anyway. So 99% of this will get deleted anyways. But let's check out. This is my first unidentified. Um, and then we'll do some gear crafting, just kind of talk about the drops, what we got. So let's uh, un let's identify this unidentified item and uh see how all this works all right so let's go to the foundry identify hey we got two we got two nice one is a gold and one is a silver whatever that means let's see i'm assuming this is the worst set ew uh what is this aggression and this looks like a stat that's always here so we got flat attack with attack we have no main stat literally no main stat what a joke um the only reason this is somewhat useful is attack speed and rage regen are very rare on weapons so i mean this will maybe be useful maybe be useful for someone as like an offset i don't know we'll see let's see what this is oh god these are miserable unable to revive Increases redeployment time by 300 second, seconds. So you gain 30 attack speed and you lose the ability to even go back down if you die. Interesting. This is so weird and it's just not a good piece. Um, okay. Those are pretty terrible so far. Okay, uh, let's do some forge. So we got lots of forge. Hey, we can do 10, we can do 10 forges. Let's see how this goes. So this gives us the crit damage and attack. This gives us the healing and rage regen. Let's see how it goes. Let's see what we do here. I have not done this before, so I'm doing this live here. What do we got here? Oh God, oh God. Why is that thumbs up, bro? That's terrible. This is a damage piece. You give me HP. Um. I'm going to save that just to keep a two set for now. That's most likely going to get deleted very quickly. This is awful. Oh, man. These are uh, really bad. Uh, wicked Vengeance, crit damage, attack, and it only has one crit roll. I mean, that is just terrible. I don't even know why it thumbs up that other one. Um, crit damage, attack with literally nothing. Okay. Healing and rage regen with... almost nothing um i'm gonna keep that just to see what the other ones are in case i need it to make a set no this one's better okay so we can probably get rid of this one um this will be good for someone this will be really good for someone who's hp scaling healer but you don't usually care that much about healing effect and rage regen on the hp scalers so eh, it's just okay healing and we got damage stats on a healing and rage regen oh man these are bad these are bad guys um healing oh god what is happening and we got damage stats and nothing else useful oh god these are bad 
Um, healing HP attack speed. It's not awful. Awful, but it's pretty bad. Okay. Um, healing rage regen, and we literally only have attack. Dude, these are terrible. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we got five more. Oh, we have to watch the animation every time. Oh, dude. You're going to make us watch this every time? That's brutal. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's just awful. They're all awful. It's awful. Is there a way to turn off the animation? Can I turn off the animation? No. Dude, please don't make us watch this animation every single time. We need to craft a single piece of gear, please. Don't make this real life. Uh, okay, I'm bored of that. Uh, that's terrible. I don't really don't want to sit there and watch um, that. So we'll just do 10 pulls, I guess. And it'll be a little bit easier. I want to see what we get here. Here we go. We got some of this set, which is pretty cool. Oh, no, that's not the set I was thinking of. This set. Uh, oh, they changed the... Did they change the symbols? Was morale always looking like this? Anyways, this would have been useful for the fight we just did. Because I just needed a tiny bit more damage on my Valk to, to make it... To make the magic happen, so this would have been cool, but this is a terrible piece, so we'll get rid of that. Crit damage with terrible substats, just terrible. Okay, flat attack is HP and just terrible. Okay, HP, okay, on a HP, okay, that's good. So we at least have HP and defense. Uh, we will keep that one. This one looks really cool. Hell's Lament. Um, when the ultimate is triggered, increases damage by 30% and crit damage for 8 seconds. I don't know who you would use this on because it's only 8 seconds. And most people's ultimates is like 20 seconds. So it has a really big bonus, but it's a very short amount of time. I guess you want to use this on someone who has a very short ultimate to start. Now, I don't know. I'll level it up a tiny bit. I don't know how hard these pieces are going to be to get. Um, and we'll just get rid of them as we get better pieces, I guess. Attack. Here we go. This one's decent. Um, just no, no HP with literally nothing. Okay, defense with <sighs> rage regen. Did I just get rid of one I wanted? Maybe I what should have kept this. Was this the right set? Oh no, this was okay. That was the damage set. I thought I got rid of the tank set at first with HP main, but it was the damage set. Okay, that's good. Uh, defense rage regen. Um, I guess we'll keep that because it's defense main stat. It's a defense set and it has rage regen. I guess we'll keep that. Uh, we'll hit okay and then we'll do one more of these. Okay, what do we get this time? Defense. HP healing. Okay, it's not terrible. We could use that on someone just to boost someone else's damage, I guess. Um, same thing with this piece here. We could put that on a tank. Um, so you could, this morale set, you could put it on a support, you could put it on a tank, um, just to give a little bit more damage to your team. So I'll save that because it has good defensive stats. This is almost good. If um, this was crit damage, um, I would keep this because it has three damage stats, but it's got flat defense, so that sucks. HP, crit, attack. This one is weird, but um, we could maybe put this on like a healer, HP scaling healer, and just get a tiny bit of rage regen. I don't know. I'm going to keep that just for a rainy day, and then maybe we'll get rid of that later once I get more of these pieces. That's flat stats, so we'll get rid of that. That's flat stats, so we get rid of that. Um, this is the tank set, and we got HP and defense, so we're definitely keeping that one. This is flat stats. We'll get rid of it. And we got attack. Damage reduction for each enemy blocked. Increased defense. And it's attack. Rip. Um, I guess we could use this on a tank. This is basically like the better version of the Guardian set. So it's not awful. Um, it has HP defense. If I want someone to deal a little bit of damage but also take a little bit of damage, I can maybe use that piece. It's a stretch for sure. Oh, God. Can't answer that, buddy. Um, okay, let's continue. What do we got going on here? I really don't want to watch this animation 900 more times. So, I basically got nothing useful. Um, I got basically nothing really usable, to be totally honest here. And we're still kind of struggling with not having enough gear space. 
Um, it's really bad. It's really bad, guys. Please just add some gear space, please. Um, okay. I don't know. Not super impressed. That was pretty bad. That was quite bad. I still have a couple more runs, but unfortunately I ran out of gear space to do that. I guess the other thing we can do is we can go take a look at the shop in here before I finish up the video. Shop. Let's check out the shop. Let's see what I can get in the shop now. Um, we got 5,500 of those. Um, okay. So this one is a unidentified fine bangle. What does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean something? Grants high quality gear because it's gold, I take it. Yeah, okay. So this is because it's a gold set, it's more expensive. I thought one of these had locked in stats. Yeah, this one. Is this for real? This is really what it's going to give me? It's going to give me an ancient that has these guaranteed stats? Is that what this is saying? I feel like this is... Does this reset? Refreshes automatically with each round of the gear dungeon. They can purchase items with dungeon crystals obtained from the gear dungeon. A higher level stage yields more dungeon crystals. The dungeon shop lasts two extra days than the gear dungeon. Unused will be kept for future use. So that's important. It's very important that it says um, can be kept. Because this seems like really, 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 really good. It is a bangle. So it is the first slot. Um, this is really good. Now, what is this? Um, damage reduction for each block. I mean, it defense and you got flat and you got rage regen. I mean, who's going to buy that over the other one? Especially if you can only buy freaking one of these. So I basically am done for the, the week in this dungeon and I only have 5,500. I think you're probably going to want to grab... I think you're going to want to grab this. I wonder what it resets to. Is next time is it going to be different? I think this is going to be an ancient with these set stats. I think this is going to be the best item to buy because this is going to be a really good item. Yeah, that's going to be real good. Now, let's level it up and see how it goes. I want to go check that piece specifically. I don't know if the rolls are going to be the same or what. So if we go here, we have this. This is it. Let's see how we roll. Terrible. Just terrible. <laughs> it could have been worse. Um, I know that some of these items, they get guaranteed red rolls. So um, I guess I don't know what I was expecting there, but it's not terrible. It's barely purple for three out of the four. So, I mean, I guess it's better than a roll like that or even a roll like that. I guess it's not awful, but I was just expecting it to be a little bit different. I don't know why I was expecting it to be different, but I was expecting that to roll a little bit differently than it did. Uh, where'd that piece even go? Is it like gone now or what just happened? There it is. Okay. Um, okay. I guess, I guess, I guess. Uh, hey, look at we got some more. Uh, we got a little awakened crystal. Okay, well, interesting. It is very interesting. We got uh, 19 more of these we can do, and then I really wouldn't use a lot of this currency. This currency has very, very, very high value. Um, I have a feeling you're going to be want like what is this ancient mythic gear? So this is. Any ancient mythic gear doesn't it, it could be anything this one Variant gear means it has an extra stat on it, right? So that variant gear is that stat that shows on the bottom I don't know if it, they've changed any of the filters or anything. Can we see this? So I feel like you want that variant gear and you want the one with locked in stats And that's kind of all you want to buy in there in my opinion I, I don't know why you would spend on other stuff. Can I even filter for variant gear? I don't think I can yeah, you can't filter for variant gear. So I got that one piece of variant gear. What was that, a weapon? Ah, uh, it shows it at the top automatically. Okay. So this thing at the bottom here is apparently what the variant means. So when it says variant, that means you get a free stat at the bottom. Um, I have no idea what's available. It doesn't say any of that. And it doesn't seem to be any way to filter for variant gear. Yeah, they didn't add a filter or anything, so there's no variant filter. 
Um, I, you can't search through the stats. So I guess you kind of just know that you have it. And then it, it seems to always put it to the top. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. Um, it seems okay. There's a lot of RNG in it. I think some people are going to get really good gear, insane pieces. And then most people are going to get basically garbage for a while. So um, there's a lot of variation. I don't know. It's still a cool concept. You know, overall, I guess I've been complaining in this video a decent amount. But my overall opinion was I think it's cool to have a new gear system. I think it's cool to have new sets. I think it's cool to have some hard PvE content. Um, gear Raid 4 is quite hard. So I made a video on it. You guys have maybe seen it already. So it, it's hard content. And um, I guess while I'm finishing and saying my thoughts, we might as well just kind of watch uh, my runs finish up because I got 20 left here. But yeah, it's um, the dungeon was pretty hard. I needed to move a lot of gear onto a lot of heroes to make this work. And I took maybe an hour or two to do it with some different... Um, you know, some different strats, some different teams. I ended up putting Artemis in, and that really helped me a lot. I started with Lassier and was struggling to do anything on the bottom side, and I needed the extra healing from Artemis. So Artemis helped me by allowing my tanks to stay alive and adding some extra damage and anti-heal. So Artemis was clutch here, and Valk was clutch. I don't know that I could have done this without Valk and without Artemis. I don't know who you would use up top without Valk. I haven't seen another strat use anyone but Valk, but... Overall, the dungeon I think is great. I think they did a good job at making a very difficult dungeon, which is cool. It's nice to be able to have some new PvE content. Most of the stuff is just PvP now, you know, GVG and Arena, etc. That's kind of like the end game content now because the gear dungeons are very easy. So this is a, a hard gear dungeon. Um, the gear system, they need to remove the animation for single pulls because that's really annoying watching that, like 20 seconds for each each craft you do. And then, um, I mean, the gear's RNG. I, I, I guess they don't want you to just get broken pieces every single time we do GR4. I still don't know how often it's going to be. I'm assuming it's going to be once per month, kind of like Immortal Codex, but we shall see. But, um, okay, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Kind of ended up being a long video, but I wanted to just go through some of the gear, talk about it. That's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and that subscribe button. If you're purchasing anything in the game, use my link below in the description. It gives you a discount in the game. That's it. See you guys.